Okay, hey everyone, QB King 77 here again from the ACS team here to do a review video on Signage Mod 7 on the HTC Evo 3D. This is a very nice ROM, especially coming from Sense. It's a nice mix up, change of pace. But otherwise, I'm going to go ahead and do a review video. First of all, things that aren't working with this alpha build that I did a how to on. I'll link to that in the description of this video showing you how to install it. But Bluetooth does work, but car stereo mode does not work. So just keep that in mind. YMAX does not work, so you're not going to get 4G. Uh, also, 3D on the phone doesn't work. You're not going to get 3D images. You're not going to be able to take 3D. So keep that in mind when you do flash this. Otherwise, let's go ahead and do an overview of it. You have ADW Launcher set by default, as you guys can see. Up in the status bar, you have... I don't have any data signal right now because my number isn't on my 3D right now, but it will be soon so I can test out this ROM. But otherwise, as you can see, stock gingerbread battery icon, stop, stock four signal bars, you, you'll have stock 3G icon. But as you can see up at the top, you got some quick panel options. You got Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, GPS, and sound. You can actually edit those and change those. I'll show you guys how to later in this video. Um, otherwise, as you can see, looks like a grayish tint to the notification bar right there. You have the CM7 live wallpaper set by default in the background, so very nice. You have a nice messaging app. Another, uh, it's a really nice messaging app. You can edit a lot of things to it. You go to menu settings, and you can uh, you can change the notification settings, the type of vibration pattern, as well as make it black, which I know, which is something I always do. I, I always love to have the black one as opposed to the white one. But it's definitely a nice messaging app. They include, uh, as you can see, they have a nice app drawer, ADW app drawer. It's very condensed and has a lot of apps within the whole page. I can't even scroll because they're all in that one page. I'm gonna go to menu, go to settings, scroll down. As you can see, it has orange overscroll glow right there, stock gingerbread overscroll glow, glow color. I'm gonna go to about phone and then scroll down. As you can see, mod version right there. Signage mod 7, one, gang, shooter. There it is. So running signage mod, as you can see right there. I'm gonna go ahead and go back. As you can see in this settings menu, you have signage of mod settings and ADW launcher settings. So you can change ADW launcher settings, whether you want five docks on the bottom, one dock, it's, you can mess with those a lot. So that's very nice. You can always use a different uh, custom launcher if you want, whether it's Launcher Pro or Go Launcher. It's your choice. Otherwise, go to signage mod settings. You got a bunch of different settings within this ROM. You have application settings, um, you also have display settings if you want the screen on animation along with the screen off animation I'll go ahead and demonstrate that for you guys screen off animation is a CRT screen off as I'm sure a lot of you guys know and CRT on it does the opposite it goes out instead of in so you got in and out so very cool there as you can see this is the stock lock screen for CM7 the later CM7 builds it is I believe it's called the ring unlock so you got sound and vibrate on the right side and then swipe to the left to unlock it. You can also have it uh, rotate 180 degrees. So if I put it upside down, it should rotate upside down. So that's kind of cool. Um, those are your, just your display options. You have input options. You have interface options, whether you want to add some, some tweaks to it, over scroll effect, etc. You uh, I believe in the interface, it might, yeah. So notification power widget. I believe this is where, okay, so you got your widget buttons right there. You get to choose which widget buttons you want in there. Let's say you wanted to control your music within the notification bar. Select the, skip the next, skip the previous, and toggle play pause. So now when I swipe down, if I, it can scroll left and right. As you can see, there's uh, play, pause, and skip right there. And you can change the order of them as well. You also have uh, the flashlight right there. So it looks like flashlight's not working right now. I don't know if he just must not have included the app to the flashlight, but it doesn't matter. Otherwise, as you can see, you got all these different options. You can change the, I believe the order of them, just go to widget button order at the bottom. So you got your widget button order. You can just click and drag them wherever you want them. So that's a really nice feature. I love having these quick panel widgets up there that Samsung included in touch with. Uh, otherwise, you got your lock screen options. You go to style options and then lock screen style. You got uh, five different options. Sliding tab, which is the stock AOSP lock screen for gingerbread, sound on and off, and then unlock. You also have rotary right there, which is the same as the, the sliding one. It's just a different style right there. 
Um, otherwise, you get rotary revamped, which is the same as rotary, except, okay, so I, same as rotary. And then you get lens, which is very similar to the MIUI unlock right there. And then you got the ring unlock, which obviously was the stock one you already saw. So there you have it, those are your lock screen options. There are other options, performance options. You can mess with the, the CPU. Just be careful with any of these performance settings. I don't know if you can, over okay, so definitely don't mess with any of the performance settings within CyanogenMod settings at the moment. So don't mess with those. But other than that, everything seems very smooth and snappy, working very well. This ROM generally has good battery life. Everything runs very well. It is an alpha state, so I'm sure you're going to run into some bugs, etc. But another awesome feature of Signage Mod is the Theme Chooser app right here. So you have the Theme Chooser app. I'm going to go ahead and drop that in on the home screen. So you got Theme Chooser right there. So I'm going to select it. You can get more from the market, the Android market, but it comes stock with three themes, but get more from the market. Just type CM7 in the search bar and you'll come up with a bunch of different themes. So here, if I wanna apply the cyan bread theme, which comes default, um, I'll hit apply and it just applies a theme for you. No need to go into uh, custom recovery and install themes anymore. You can just do it straight with the theme chooser. So as you can see up at the top, it'll change the battery icon. It'll change other icons as well change it nice that light cyan color you get you got the messaging icon changing you got the the phone icon as well as the internet icon changing it'll change your over scroll glow to that blue as you can see at the bottom right there changes it to blue changes other icons as well videos downloads so as you can see theme chooser is just a really nice thing to have it's it's a great feature to have i believe it was ported from t-mobile originally i think t-mobile had it initially and then signed jamad snatched it up and put it within their ROMs. But otherwise, that's just a quick overview of the CM7 ROM. Very nice, very snappy, works very well. It might not work very well right now because it's in alpha state, but I do have a how-to video in case you want to watch that in the link in the description of the video. Otherwise, that's it. Quick review of CM7 on the HTC Evo 3D. Be sure to subscribe to me for future videos. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Google+. Links in the description of the video. And thanks for watching. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up.